So I watched Danielle's recent video and I wanted to film this to simply give clarity to everything. Um, although her video fails to show any sort of evidence or address anything that I said, um, I took notes, timestamped notes during her video, all of which I will address. Um, if, if anything, to put an end to this. I'm over it, to say the least. I am livid that she could continue to make these vile statements against myself. Um, to start, Danielle says that she met me previously and that we didn't start working together until the yacht trip. Well, that is not true. Danielle came to my previous Good Time events. Actually, she was at TanaCon, um, as well as several others. So for Danielle to say that she didn't know me in terms of we didn't work together for long or she didn't know. Danielle's known me for a long time in our working relationship. Um, she literally has done multiple events. Good Time Chicago, uh, TanaCon, etc. So I've known Danielle and had a working relationship with her for plenty of time. She says I was aware that she has management. I was aware she had management at one point in the past with Michelle Paramore because they were supposed to come to a Juice Crate event, um, but Michelle ended up saying whatever and Danielle didn't come. I don't remember what, why. Um, however, I was not aware she still had management because Danielle told me she wasn't working with anyone and she could work with whoever she wanted to. I have this email from Collab, a multi-channel network that Danielle is signed to, um, in which I actually told them that I did not know she was signed with Michelle and all of this to say that Michelle Paramore had actually reached out to Collab uh, on their behalf and that's where this conflict of content claiming began. Um, and to which I actually told Collab, I didn't know she was represented by Michelle either. Um, had I known that, we wouldn't have been in a situation because I would not have wanted to have any issues with other management. Around the five minute mark, Danielle says that she found Mason or whatever and that I wanted to take him to dinner. Actually, Danielle took my phone and said, you need to meet Mason. I'm going to text him from your phone and invite him to dinner. She actually used my business relationships to form a, Mace, a relationship with Mason by being like, Michael wants to do this deal with you. I had no intention of working with Mason. I did not even know who Mason was. Um, furthermore, she took my phone, invited him to dinner at Catch and had me invite paparazzi so that she seemed more famous to Mason to make him more appealing. Uh, and I have clips of the paparazzi when we were at Catch. I also have this receipt of the dinner in which I was forced to pay for. She says that Jen does not sexualize her. Whether Danielle wants to post that or not is beside the point. Uh, a mother should not allow their child to post any sexually explicit content when that child is 15. Danielle refuses to address her age even after this video, which is concerning. Um, and there were multiple occasions in which Danielle did sexualize her daughter, referenced by multiple members of my team, uh, telling her what to wear. Oh, you should wear this bikini. This will look better. You should pose with your ass out. You'll get more likes. You're inactive on Instagram, so you should get more likes if you would pose like this because they want to see your ass. That's why she had a fan fuel. That's why she posts explicit content. Uh, whether Danielle wants to or not, again, besides the point, your mother should probably not allow you to post any sexually explicit content when you're 15 years old. That is child pornography. She also referenced why I put in a clip of Jen talking about piercings. Um, perhaps it wasn't obvious, but again, this speaks to the kind of mother that Jen is. Um, your mother should not be allowing you or condoning you or even saying you would look great. You should go get a piercing. You are 15 years old. Um, it's not legal for piercing shops to do that in most cases, which is why Danielle has an issue getting tattoos and why she can't work with this artist or that artist because they find out her real age and are like, oh my God, I can't do this, that's illegal. So Jen, you probably should not let your daughter get covered in tattoos and piercings at the age of 15. That's why I showed that video clip to show the kind of mother that Jen is to her daughter, um, which I find to be concerning. There's also a question around why I included a clip of Jen saying that she's getting sued. Danielle's video references that it was about a dog. I did not show this video clip to show that Danielle was getting sued about a dog or Jen was getting sued about a dog. I added this video clip to show that there is a pattern of behavior that is not okay, that is obviously ending in lawsuits. Um, 
Everyone who's come in Danielle's life is no longer a part of that, whether that is um, Landon or past managements or Mikey Tua or Sebastian or any of these other folks. There is a explosion that happens probably around the fact about Danielle's age. Um, so that video clip was just to show the context around this family dynamic that clearly has multiple issues. She talks around the 11 minute mark, she talks about Mason uh, coming to Florida and that she invited him to go to the TikTok versus YouTubers fight. Actually, that's something I have failed to mention. Um, Danielle actually had me get box seats in a VIP suite, which I posted online, um, for them. Again, using me and forcing me to make her seem better to Mason. So she was literally putting me in positions where I would have to do things for her so that she seemed more appealing to Mason or that Mason would want to be with her. She references a former employee of mine uh, named Dylan, which she should not have done. I think it's disrespectful to include parties who are not a part of this situation. Um, however, Dylan did not quit for the reasons that he said. He actually witnessed uh, according to him, he witnessed a sex crime taking place and felt uncomfortable that Danielle was a party to. And furthermore, Dylan felt uncomfortable by the same reason I felt uncomfortable. I just had no chance and no opportunity to leave. Dylan, all he had to do was quit to be out of the situation. I, I couldn't very well. Uh, she had forced me to be in her house um, and had forced me to be doing all of these things for them in anticipation of working with them. I did not have romantic feelings for Dylan. I thought that he was cute. Yes, in no way did I have romantic feelings with him in which is why he quit. Danielle repeatedly brings up the fact that she is pan um, and that I outed Mason. I never outed Mason. <laughs> I actually, I don't know if you watched the video or not, but I said if he was bi, um, never would assume someone's sexuality. Actually, Danielle, it sounds like you're accusing someone of their sexuality. Uh, Hannah, whom I'll call. Y'all in this video real quick. Hannah, did you or did you not hear Danielle while we were at Disney say the words that she would never date anyone who is bi? Yes. Period. Thanks, guys. Furthermore, Danny has disrespected the entire LGBT community um, in a way that really, really is offensive. Um, while we were in Florida for the TikTok fight, she refused to go to a drag shoot show simply because they were men dressed as women uh, and they didn't support women's right. She said that she had had an abortion, so she know what it feels like to be a woman and that no man dressed in women's clothing could ever be a real woman. And we were all speechless, and I am speechless now, that you could say something like that and claim to be pan makes no sense. We've all heard you, Danielle. We've all know the truth. She also says that I was all for her and Mason uh, until I didn't, until Dylan quit. Girl, I was all for you and Mason until I found out your real age and realized that Mason, someone who I represented, was committing statutory rape. Is that not clear? I have multiple text messages with Mason in which I let him know that he cannot commit this crime. I was not blackmailing Mason. Danny also claims that Mason was on the phone with her when I would call her and be like, oh, he's on the phone with another girl. Actually, Mason was on the phone with his ex, Haley, multiple times. And due to the fact that Danielle was literally forcing me to do things, um, I would literally have to stop Mason from doing that to not hurt Danny on Danny's behalf. And ultimately, again, being put in the middle of something I did not need to be a part of, yet still being attacked simply because of a situation that I frankly had nothing to do with and do not care about. She talks about when she was in Nashville that I invited her to dinner and said her mom couldn't come and that this was because I had a plan to manipulate her and her mom could see through me. No. 
I simply cannot sit across from a woman who has abused her daughter, watch her to continue to do it, and pay for their dinner. Because obviously we all know that I would have to pay for the dinner because you guys never do. And I'm not going to sit across from Jen while she man manipulates and abuses her own daughter. And I actually got up from a lunch the last time we all sat together simply because I cannot witness it anymore. It hurts me physically, it hurts me emotionally, and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. I'm done feeling uncomfortable. I'm done allowing Jen to manipulate and destroy her life. I don't know why Danny wants to say these things when I'm literally trying to protect her. Um, it's fucking insane. Also, Danny, in case you don't get it, girl, no one wants to hang out with your mama. You bring her to parties in LA, girl. Nobody wants to hang out with your mom. We not her friend. Nobody wants to be friends with your mom who has no job or no life. So she hangs out with you and other people because she literally has nothing else better to do. You think my mom is going to a TikTok party in LA? You think my mom's going to this YouTube event? No, girl. She runs her own company. She has her own career. My mom does not spend my money on anything. She spends hers. What? Yo mama out here spending your money on a car for herself, buying your brother's cars. Girl, that's your money. Why would you let her do that? She also said that I took the gift of Mason buying me earrings as romantic when I didn't take it romantic. You did, Danielle. Clearly, you were upset. You must have not watched the video because there is literally a clip in which you tell Kano to post that video, uh, which started all of it. Clearly, you were jealous and upset or something. You thought Mason whatever and you made Kano post a video that very clearly shames him. I was on the phone with Danny Joe when I made it too. It's a draft that I had in my fucking TikTok. Yeah. And legit, I was like, haha, should I do this? It'd be funny. And Danny was like, yeah, do it. It's funny. And I said, okay, cool. And calls his mother to call him. I never outed Mason, ever. Never took it romantic. Uh, frankly, I told him not to buy me a gift, not to buy me anything. Uh, so you're the one that took it romantic. Not I. They accuse me of blackmail um, when, in this case, blackmail is not even possible. I have literally put it all out here in multiple cases of evidence. Um, me saying that, Mason, you cannot hang out with Danielle. You cannot have a romantic relationship with a child. You cannot rape a 15-year-old girl is not blackmail. It's statutory rape. I don't know what you don't get about that. Furthermore, you cannot simply terminate your management agreement with me. It doesn't work like that. That's why it's a contract. You can't just be like, oh, peace, I'm out. That's not how it works. You're signed to me for two years. Uh, Mason, you are still signed to me. And you have demands from my attorney because you are in breach of that contract and are committing defamation, slander, violated your confidentiality agreement, failed to perform. You say, I only got you one deal. We just started working together. You said I didn't, I promised you a house. Uh, you had a house in Nashville and you could have come at any time. You were here. So I don't know why you say I promised you a house and didn't give you a house. Also, nothing in our management agreement says that I owe you a house. That's literally laughable. You also failed to perform on multiple cases. Therefore, that would affect your job to procure work. Uh, you were supposed to do a $75,000 deal. You did not even do it. Um, you were supposed to come to this event in October. You didn't do that. You didn't do an entire other deal, all of which I cannot discuss because if we have a confidentiality agreement, you clearly don't know what that is, which is why you're being sued. I also want to address the fact that I never said Mason was bi, in case you didn't watch the video, like you clearly didn't. Uh, I said if he was bi, and Danielle, you keep assuming his sexuality. Mason, you literally said the words in that video. I know your sexuality. I did not out you. I said, if you were bi, that's all I said. You think it's, it's fucked up for me to be like, oh, Mason's bi, Danny's not pan. No, no, no. Danny, you saying the words, I would never date someone who is bi is fucked up. You hating drag, you hating transgenders and saying trans people are not real people. Transgender men are not real. Like what? That is what's fucked up, Danielle. She accuses me of sexual assault on her adopted brother. I have a plethora of content proving otherwise. All of this evidence. Um, Israel, who you're referencing, very clearly even comments on your video and said that that's not true. 
Again, you just want to slander my name for what reason? I don't know. Um, furthermore, I have evidence that your own brother and Jin, your son, what they really said about you, Jin, and how you treat him. Um, so you guys want to bring things that are unrelative to what's going on, but it's, it's pointless. You failed to address any of my concerns, or anyone's concerns for that matter. You don't even address your age. You accuse me of hacking your account and that Carlos had your account. Um, you literally cannot do that. You connected it to a third party platform yourself. That's, how would I have hacked that girl? You literally said Carlos has ownership or that Carlos had access when you assigned me ownership. Did you not watch the video? Um, you said that I forged an IP address. Are you dumb? I don't know, like you cannot forge an IP address. Um, that's how the government and anyone tracks a device, a specific device. Um, yeah, so don't know how that's, you accuse me of forging an IP address when that's literally impossible to do. You also said that I started claiming her videos to make money. Um, again, you get that money that I have no access to. You clearly didn't watch the last video, so I'll send you there to see that evidence. Um, these were all your requests. We heard on multiple occasions, and it's witnessed by multiple people. Carlos, my little videographer whose work is world-class, uh, literally has heard your mother say on multiple occasions that you did not make money from those videos and that you would like to get paid. Therefore, I did. There's no way for me to hack that. Like, that that's not possible. Um, it's literally insane for you to say that I hacked you and then bring past legal cases with Mikey and Bryce into that, um, which actually coming to think of it, they said that I hacked them, which was proven wrong in court and settled outside of court. So if there's a public statement here in which I clearly did not do the things that I was accused of then, and I have not done the things that I'm accused of now. I'm done being silent. I've been silent for clearly too long. Um, and that's insane. Mason, you go on to talk about that, me saying you're bi, blah, blah, blah. Never said you were bi, I said if you were bi. And you said, because I know your sexuality. Yeah, I do know your sexuality. You say that I owe you a house when you had a house in Nashville given to you, an opportunity to stay there. Um, you failed to perform and you were in breach of your contract. That's why I'm suing you. Danielle claimed that I trashed her house when I was there. First off, the house that you forced me to stay at, uh, that I did not want to do, but, but I had to in anticipation of working with you and frankly to protect you from Jen. Um, however, I could not trash a house that is literally already trashed and you don't take care of it. Um, the living conditions that Jen subjects you to is fucking disgusting. I had to spend over a thousand dollars just to make the room that I was staying in for the two weeks livable. I had to replace a shower curtain, I had to buy a mattress pad, simply because there was cat piss and dog piss and dog shit literally everywhere. Step it up as a fucking parent and take your damn dogs outside. You know the trash can that? The dog shit all over the place. <laughs> oh, it's coming off. Really? Yeah. Because it, I haven't even scrubbed it yet, so it's coming off. <laughs> yeah, it's coming off. Yeah. You know, Jen tried to say, to say that I stole her dog one time. What? <laughs> I yeah. swear to God, she tried to say I stole her dog. Remember one time. that? Okay, well, let's not put that on film. So let's not talk about that. Let's grab this Rock. Paper. All day. I've been cleaning out the poop all day, all day, all day. Oh, my God. Look at the cleaning out. Ew! This is literally like a milkshake! There was furniture, like, destroyed. That house is, frankly, the most disgusting house I've ever been into in my entire life. I did not trash anything. I literally spent $1,000 to make it livable for me, even though I didn't want to be there. Also, while living there, um, Danielle would wake us up daily. She did the same thing to previous people too. Um, she would literally come jump on our bed and wake us up and be like, oh my God, oh my God, can you text Mason? Can you do this? Like, 
I never was loud and disrespectful. I never told you, D I'm the Michael Weiss, do you know who I am? Never any of that. Actually, you were the one who disrespected us. We were trying to sleep. You had sexual activities in front of me multiple times when I literally said, stop, I am not okay with this. Uh, you subjected me to situations that were very uncomfortable and detrimental to my mental health and well-being. Um, and so it's sad to see you say that. At the 31 minute mark, right around there, you say that Jen says, we can try to get you a manager. I'm not sure you know exactly what you just said, but why would Jen tell you we can try to get you a manager when you said you already had one to me? So if I knew you had one, why would Jen literally say we can try to get you a manager? Um, I was trying to protect you at your behest, not the other way around. I was not trying to manipulate your mother and tear your family apart. I literally was trying to do what you asked me to do. Mason and I told you to stop speaking to Danielle because you were gonna get charged with statutory rape. Not to blackmail you, not because I wanted you to myself, but simply to protect you from getting a charge of rape and was advising you that that's like, hmm, probably the moral and ethical thing to do. Mason also did multiple brand deals behind my back when we were in an exclusive two-year engagement. He did a brand deal with the same employee who's been posting negative comments about me, um, which is against both of their contracts. So, like Mason, I don't know how you can say I'm in violation of a contract when you are clearly in breach. Danny, you say you don't owe me any money. However, I have multiple invoices where you failed to pay me for my time and my fees to executive produce a video. Um, I paid for dinners at Catch, Boa, etc. I've attached all receipts here. Clearly you owe me money. You failed to pay Carlos his fees for photography. We have still yet to been paid. You say I lied about the legal fees when clearly I did not. Um, if you don't know what a lawyer costs, that's fine. I should not have had to pay for an attorney at all. That's not my job, not what I'm supposed to do. Um, however, I did pay for your Texas case, which I didn't have to do, and that invoice is attached here and was $500. I am not paying for your charge when you brought a butterfly knife onto an airplane um, because I, I don't, and you're a breach of your contract, and so like, why would I do that now? That's an ongoing case in which you have to appear in November. I have nothing to do with that. I never lied about legal fees. You buy me a gift and then attempting to hold it over my head that's fucked up. Furthermore, Danielle, you should be an advocate for the LGBT community, not someone who posts a video on the internet, my coming out story, and posts photos in a bathtub with cereal that's rainbow color to say that you're pan. I was simply encouraging you to live your truth. I was not saying, you need to come out. I was literally saying, you should become an advocate for the LGBT community as an influencer with a voice when marginalized groups traditionally don't have a voice. Um, but clearly that doesn't work if you lie about your sexuality for clout. Just because it's trendy or whatever you think, when it's people who have suffered. Uh, I couldn't even marry the person I love until a couple years ago. Um, I'm not sure you really know what that feels like. Danielle, I um, also don't think it's okay for you to say the things you say about the members of my community when you clearly are not an advocate for that, but wanted to post that photo you posted on Instagram for likes. You end your video by saying, cancel Michael Weist. How dare you say to cancel another human being? I think cancel culture itself is a rather toxic social construct that this generation has created when human beings are living, evolving, learning, and developing beings. Um, I don't think you can simply cancel one. And you, have being a, a victim of cancel culture, for you to say to cancel someone else is a little fucked up. But um, I hope this puts an end to all of these disgusting lies that you have been living for years. I'm done allowing myself to be treated this way and disrespected. I'm done not standing up for myself or not speaking the truth. Um, Danielle, 
your actions, just as I previously said, have consequences, and I expect you will hear from my attorney very soon regarding your slanderous and defamatory statements. Uh, Mason, lawyer up, buddy.